Hey everybody, Yusuf here from Flory. Um, I'm here to help you guys set up your retailer account. So, uh, step one, we're going to go up to portal.flory.io. And once you go there, you'll go to the sign up tab and plug in your information here. So, the, the main thing you're going to want to do here is make sure to select distributor uh, slash retailer rather than the other options. Um, so, once you um, put all your information in, you hit sign up. You'll get an email sent and you just go and click to activate um, your account and then you'll be able to log back in no problem. So I'm going to log in to a demo account that I have here for, for retailers. So this is the first thing you'll see when you open up the portal. I'm going to quick minimize my bubble so we can actually see what's going on here. Um, so this is it's completely empty. Uh, the first thing you're going to see here is this window popping up. So this is this is where you can actually add reference manufacturers that you currently sell. So these are product images uh, and floors that we already have in our database that we um, kind of enable enable you guys to get started right away with Flory. So um, you know the, what based off of your um, the country that you that you put in in your account setup, you will be you will display the options that are there for you in that country. So for example, in Europe, you'll see European uh, manufacturers. In the US, you'll see um, you know, US-based manufacturers. So anyway, the uh, point is, is when you get here, you're going to want to click and select the different products that you, know, you guys actually offer. And then you can click Add References. Once you've done that, they'll all show up here. So uh, briefly, let's, let's just do a quick overview of the Flory Administrator Portal before we dive into any, anything else in more detail. So uh, we, have, we have a few different sections here. We have the Product Catalog section. So this is the one that we, you know, where we can manage all the different products that we have. Um, we can add floors, delete floors, change the names of different floors, and, and stuff like that. Over here we have Flory Lights. So these are all the different sec, you know, um, settings to configure for Flory Light. Um, we'll go over that in more detail. Payments and subscriptions. So, you know, the different subscriptions that you're set up with, and your different plans with us, um, your invoices, and then lastly, account settings. So, you know, account details, emails, domains, and invoice and data as well. So, uh, yeah, so that's a quick overview. Let's, let's just jump back into the product catalog. So, as a retailer, let's say that you do offer all these different, you know, manufacturers. But you you know you probably don't offer every single product. Well, you might, but maybe you don't want to highlight every single product. So what we'll do is we'll go into the Barlinac tab. We'll go into this category here, and we call these we call this each one of these kind of um, sections here a category. So once you click into the Barlinac, you have a category here. We'll click again, and then we actually see all the different Barlinac products that you know we have to you know, in, in our in our system here. So now you probably don't offer all of them, or if you do, you don't maybe you don't want to actually pitch all of them in your visualizer. So what you actually what you can actually do is you can go ahead and delete all the different products that you know you don't sell. And that way you can make your visualizer customized towards you know exactly what your selling experience is like. So anyway uh, so that's that. Next, um, let's go into how to actually add a floor. So, oh, you know, another thing too is let's say you do have, you know, white labeled products with different names and the standard names. This is where you would go in and you can actually go into the particular floor and edit that floor. So, this floor is name. You know, isn't classic oak, it's champagne oak. Oh, so you're gonna actually it's gonna require you to fill out these different categories here. These are the different product fields for the product. And I'll go over these here in a second when we make a new product, but I'm just trying to show you how the you can actually change the name of the particular product here on the fly. So yes, so we just changed it from champ from classic oak to champagne oak. So 
This is, for example, if you do white label flooring and you know you do have different names from your suppliers, you can go ahead and actually change the names of your products right there in the administrator portal so that they match the products in your showroom. Uh, yep, so that's that is you know those are the main things you're gonna probably want to do right off the bat when you set up you know your reference accounts, make sure you delete the products that you don't sell and uh, change the names for the ones that you do and um, and so forth. So next, let's actually talk about how to add a floor. So let's say you you know you got a hold of some product photos and you want to kind of add a new floor. So we're going to add a category here. Let's call it um, uh, let's see, Sienna Floors, right? We have a manufacturer that we work with. They're called Sienna Floors, and we want to add their products on our visualizer. And we can actually do that. So first step is to create a category. So this folder is the same folder that you see up here. This is the folder that your users will see when they're browsing Flory Light. So let's click on this category. Now that we're in this category, we can you know, we're prompted to add a floor or yet another category. So let's talk about when you'd want to do that. So for example, when we go to Quick Step, right? We have we we oh, we click on that category and now we have these different folders. So it's not they don't just throw us all the different products all at once. They actually kind of separate everything into you know different collections, right? Um, and you know this is just the way that they chose to organize their products. But and you can organize them like like this based off of floor type, you know species or you know whatever you, even hot deals things like that. But anyway, so the point here is that you know we're just for for for, sh for show we're not going to jump into um, too much here but this is you know we're in the Sienna floors let's call this engineered floors um, description engineered floors by Sienna floors and then we're going to choose a preview picture and drag it here so you know a, qu a quick room scene photo to kind of give you an idea of what the collection is and now that we've have this added category we can go into it and add a floor. So let's add a floor. So the first thing you're going to do is actually fill out all these different product fields here. So there are a lot of different product fields, but you know the there are a few that are required. And you know we, we try to keep it simple, but the idea is that you know there the, all these all these fields are here for your use. If you find use for them, great. If not, no problem. Um, and you know I'm just going to go over you know all the different you know sections here. Um, this is a required field. It's called room types. So these are all the different room types that um, this particular floor will work well in. Um, so next, after we've kind of done the general the general um, product fields here, we'll jump into the material specific sections here. So the wood type, this is an oak, this is going to be a light brown, it's a board, is it glossy, is it matte, um, the structure here, um, you know, the, the, the finish quality, number of finish layers, the finish type, the bevels, um, all, all these things are, are, are here for you guys and you'll the reason why you might want to fill a lot of this out is because you can actually in in the filter section here let me just jump to that really quick in Flory Light you can actually configure your product filters so you can actually filter by all these different product fields that you put in so that when you know a customer's browsing your your version of Flory Light they can actually browse based off of the product filters that you provide them. And so that's why that's why all this stuff is important. As I said, you know, it's it's there for you to use as much as you want to use it or need to use it. You don't have to fill all those fields out exhaustively. Um, but you know anyway that's 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 kind of how that works. So cool. So now we can add a preview picture to this floor. 
this is something, you know, you can make this a room scene, you can make it a panel image, you can even upload just an individual plank image too. And so now that we've added that, we're prompted to set up the pricing and options tab. So this is where you're going to specify, you know, the width, the height of the product. Um, it's really important to note that the width and the height here are based off of products that you input that are vertical. So if the planks are vertical, then it's going to be accurate. However, if they're horizontal, then you're going to have to flip the width and the height around to get it right. So um, anyway, these are all the different, once again, fields that you can put in. Product URL here that, that will actually link right back to um, you know, maybe whatever URL on your website or, or things like that, maybe the manufacturer's website. Over here you can configure the grout. Um, this is actually, you know, specifically for tile, of course. And so, you know, for, for wood, we don't really need to worry about that. And then lastly, over here, we have the different patterns that you could actually lay this floor in. So we're going to select all that. We've added our, our main you know, product fields here. And so now once we hit next, it's going to prompt us to add tiles. So tiles is just our terminology for a particular plank or, you know, tile, you know, any individual piece of flooring. So I've got my planks here. I'm going to actually select them all. And then it will upload them all. And when we're done, Cool, so they're all added, that's great. Um, everything went to 100% and now we can hit next. So here is the product gallery. So this is where you can actually add other room scene photos if you want. You can actually upload even on individual planks. Um, this, this is actually supplementary kind of information that will be used in the future within Flurry Light and then also within our um, consumer facing platforms so that's that but yeah so th these, this is everything you need to know to you know add a floor into Flory Light we've added this floor it's under our Sienna floors it's under their engineered category um, and so now when we go to launch Flory Light we can actually see that product um, right here so it looks like we've got Sienna floors We can go to the, that product, Champagne Oak, and voila, there's Champagne Oak. Move the floor around and we can preview the different floors. So, yep, that's, that's exactly how to upload a flow, photo to flo, uh, product to Flory Light to our portal and then view in Flory Light. And so that, that definitely wraps up the product catalog section. Now let's go into probably my favorite tab here. This is where you get to customize Flory Light to your liking. So here is the vendor URL. So, you know, this is where you can configure the link that people can click to go to your your page. This is where you can upload your logo. Um, here is the filter section that we went over. You can specify which kind of filters we want to, um, you know, set up first. The, for the customers to see. We can save those filters. Um, here is the get a quote floor calculator button and then also the custom call to action button. So um, right now the get a quote button is configured. So let's let's check that out real quick. So that is down at the bottom right here. If you click the get a quote button, people you can people can submit quotes. So <laughs> pretty simple. Nothing too crazy. Um, and you know you can obviously easily disable it if you don't want it. Um, you can also enable a custom call to action button where you can put in a custom URL. And so what that would look like is this. Go back here, click custom button, and then bam, we're at that URL. So this is, you know, if you, you want to send someone to a particular landing page, um, you know, or to an email newsletter, things like that. This is perfect for that. So, yep, that's the that's the Flory Light settings. Now here we can actually specify all the default rooms that we have to offer. So, obviously, all, these are all the different room scenes we have here. 
Now let's just say that you know I'm a residential retailer. I don't really do any um, commercial work. I can actually just you know unselect all these commercial ones here, and then now I'm left with you know, only residential ones, and automatically it's all it's all updated here within our portal, and you know the the, the customer will actually just see all these changes immediately, which is really great. Um, lastly, here is the usage section. So it shows us how many sessions we've used this month. Um, and this changes, um, this, this re you know, gets reset every month. In the near future, this will become like an analytics dashboard where you can see all sorts of information about your users, like session time, um, you know, geographies, and, and things like that. So this, this is probably going to be my, my favorite tab here as we as you develop. I'm sure it'll be yours too because it's going to be really interesting to see you know where people are actually using your product so um, and viewing your product. So okay cool next we've got the subscriptions tab here so it's, it's add, asking us to add a billing address we're going to go into the invoice data here plug in all the billing info and from there we can actually subscribe to Flory Light and the different settings there so I won't go over that in detail but it's pretty straightforward here you can actually see the different invoices that you have um, printed out in like a PDF format uh, month to month. So yep, there's that. And then lastly, there are the account settings here. Put your logo, um, and then of course you know, all your invoice data here. These these are all the this is all the data that you'd want to show on your invoice so that you know for you know, any tax or legal purposes you have everything organized so that is that um, that is you know a pretty solid introduction into how to use the flurry portal for you know any administration that you need to do for you know as a retailer so um, you know we're, we're always here for you guys if you have any questions um, you know you know where to find us but otherwise this is that's a wrap Thank you guys so much. Appreciate your time. Thanks.